can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle, let's draw a square inside of it. Then the question is what is the area of this square? Now, pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below because I will show you the solution in three, two, one. So given this right triangle with the side length 7 and 14 with its leg, then the question is what is the area of this square inside of it? Now to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to use the property of similar triangle. Now, where are the similar triangle? If we let this angle be equal to alpha and this angle be equal to beta, we know alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. Now this angle right over here and this angle adds up to 90 degrees also. So this angle on the bottom part is simply equal to alpha. Now in a right triangle, we have a right angle. So this angle must be equal to beta. Using the same reasoning, this angle is beta. This angle is alpha. So this is small right triangle is similar to this right triangle, similar to this right triangle, and similar to the entire right triangle or the big right triangle. Now, how can this right triangle help us to answer this kind of question? Now, take note, this big right triangle, its leg or the longer leg is twice its shorter leg because this 14 is just 2 times 7, all right? Therefore, in a small right triangle, since they are similar, the ratio of the larger leg to the longer leg simply equal to just 2 also. So if we let the shorter leg be equal to x, then the longer leg is just 2 times x, or 2 times as large as the shorter leg. Alright, now, let s be the side of this square for sure, and all of this side be equal to s. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can now find the value of s because we have s squared equals x squared plus 2x raised to the power of 2. So we have right triangle, we have x, 2x, and this side is s for sure. Now, simplifying this, we have here 4x squared, x squared plus 4x squared, combining like terms is 5x squared, and get the square root on both sides, we get that s equals x multiplied by square root of 5. So the side of the square is simply equal to x multiplied by square root of 5. Now from here, notice all of the side of the square is equal. And now we found out that the hypotenuse of this right triangle simply equal to square root of 5 times the shorter leg. Now since all of these right triangles are similar, we know the shorter leg of this right triangle is equal to x times square root of 5. So its hypotenuse is square root of 5 times its shorter leg, or simply equal to x times square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5, because they are similar. And if we simplify this, square root of 5 times square root of 5, this is just 5. So this is just 5 times x. Now as you can see, if we add 2x and 5x, we have the side of this longer leg of this big right triangle. So we can say that 2x plus 5x equals 14. Now from here, we can also solve for the value of x because 2x plus 5x is 7x and divide both sides by 7, we get that x equals 2. So we found out that x equals 2 and we know the side length of this square is simply equal to 2 times square root of 5. Therefore, we can now find the area of the square because we only need is the side length of the square. So the side length of the square is 2 times square root of 5 and the area of this is the side length of the square raised to the power of 2. Simply equal to 2 times square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 or simply equal to 2 squared times 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 5 simply equal to 20. Therefore, the area of the square inside of this right triangle simply equal to 20 square units and as always we are done